I predict by the end of 30 days and 30 nights, from Hollywood to the heartland, this Wild West comedy show will make back none of the money it costs Vince Vaughn to obtain an unleash on you. You'll laugh at the familiar swinger scenes recreated, but you will not laugh at the four comedians who aren't as funny as Vince Vaughn. Also out this week, Colin Farrell spends some time in Bruges, which telepathy tells me would not be a nice place to visit. However, I wouldn't mind seeing the movie. And Martin Lawrence rolls down south and bounces a bad family film against the wall called Welcome Home, Roscoe Jenkins. Joel Moore hit it big in 2004's biggest comedy, Dodgeball, and Sense has taken a downward spiral into a B-horror hatchet, and now a much less bloody film that doesn't have enough bloody scenes of interest to stop this filmmaker's circular dive down the toilet. Midnight Madness co-star Andy Tennant, the consistently reliable director behind Ever After and Hitch, is trying to strike anything but pyrite with the stars of How to Lose a Guy in 10 Days, but any fool's gold looked at long enough ain't gonna be worth a whole lot in the end. And finally, an Egyptian farce about a band of policemen and an actual band getting lost in a foreign country, which I envision getting lost in this foreign country amongst the young people who don't even know what an Egyptian is, and who will instead be seeing The Haughty and the Naughty, in which Paris Hilton humbly, yet appropriately, plays a very unattractive girl who gets some tips on appearance from a much more attractive girl who wears glasses. I foresee you waiting in line in Blockbuster next Tuesday for a movie that will be gone, baby, gone, and you'll have to go and read something shitty after that. Click on my link on the webpage at cinemapsychic.com and change your destinies at netflix.com and rent Ben Affleck's directorial debut film, Gone Baby Gone. Because believe me, it's gonna be. That's all this week. I'm Charlie Baker, Cinema Psychic. There are only two weeks left till the man in the golden suit flashes an empty auditorium. Have you foreseen all the films nominated for Best Picture this year? I have. I'll foresee you next Friday. I'm sensing the show is over. I have. Why did I scrunch like that? <laughs> I have to take a dump. I want to take it down a little bit of a notch. This receipt is from Papa John's. $34. Jesus Christ. It's fucking expensive.